，这么多的妈妈。哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈 Like holy crap! <laughs> We didn't choose the cards. <laughs> two, two of them, two of them are, are like about having sex with your mother. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> So today was kind of an interesting slash annoying day. Um, because since I got 114 yesterday, I decided just to boost for the 115 spot to try and maximize my chance of getting the spear tip. Because naturally, I want to get the spear tip, uh, or the spear, the tier 92 spear, uh, because it just be useful. <laughs> you know, I don't really think I need to explain myself there. But uh, so I, in order to do that, I've got a cape boost. And the annoying thing is, I only do archaeology when I'm working throughout the day. So throughout the day, I'm having a boost while working at the same time, and it's been really annoying. Thankfully, it wasn't too bad, um, but I still got a decent bit of XP. Like, let's see here. I started the day with, uh, according to this at least, uh, 57.9, and then right now I am at 59.3. So I got 1.4, I want to say. That's 1.4 plus all this. So I got probably three and a quarter mill XP because I still got to turn this in. Also, this is not counter in the extra 6%. Get from the boost, so three and a half that's not too bad, which means I should have that tomorrow. Um, so maybe one more day of dealing with this and then I'm done. Uh, because I plan on just camping this spot until I get uh, the spear tip or 119, whatever comes last, I guess. Jesus Christ, another one? Are you kidding me? I think that's my seventh one. I, I want to say it. No, that's actually my eighth one. I pretty sure I have five in the bank, then obviously I have two for the space and time. That's eight. That's my eighth Maddox. What the hell? 300. Oh, Jesus Christ, Dragax, what the hell? Are, are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> That's literally back to back. It's literally fucking. Oh my god, what what the hell? Hey Jackix, um why? I mean I I I get it but at the same time I just don't. You know, I I just really don't get it. Alright, so it looks like I'm officially out of porters, which quite honestly that lasted quite a long time. I was not expecting to last that long. But I'm not too worried about it because I still do have a lot of gems. Uh, so I definitely have enough to bank 200 mil. Because I think I used maybe a quarter million charges. Uh, and this alone pretty much make up that. And I'm obviously more than halfway down with 200 mil. I probably only need maybe 3,000, 4,000, maybe 5,000 porters. But I also do have. Uh, what are those things called? No, they're called shards. Uh, no, oh yeah, here you go. Memory shards. I have a lot of these. I the, uh, memory gothic scenes or whatever things you did I pretty much maximized how many memory shards that you can get like the moment I unlocked that content so it definitely worked out in the end and how many is this worth uh, that is worth definitely more than 23 yeah it's just the maximum I can make uh, but that's definitely worth 600 uh, 600 you know it's 18,000 so it's close enough but so 600 charge porters from this so it's not too bad uh, it's not as much as I need but you know what it's better than nothing Okay, uh, okay, well, you know, <laughs> so the audio didn't record because my wireless microphone died, I just wasn't paying attention because I was working at the time, um, but I got the uh, Anelishin spear tip like an hour after I got 115, I was really worried about not getting that, but thank god I got that, uh, I don't think I'm going to go for the staff anytime soon, that's something I'm kind of honestly waiting to for them to fix the drop rate situation with if they ever do, if they don't, then I guess it's just something I'll do, like post max. I'll just grind it out over casually over a couple of months or something like that. I'm not really, you know, a PVM or so. I'm not exactly too worried about it for the time being. Um, but you know, we'll see from there on out. But I'm just glad I got that spear tip before it's like, you know, getting ridiculous. Okay, that's weird. I'm pretty sure this is the shiny 
frog. Uh, yeah, but I didn't get a message for it, and I don't recall getting a message earlier this morning. And I got it, so I think that's the breeding log for the frog done. Uh, yeah, so I should have gotten an achievement saying you bred a frog, but I didn't. Let's make sure it actually registered, because that'd be kind of weird if it didn't. No? Oh, he had a frog. Uh, that's very odd. Uh, granted, I did do a herb or farm run check this morning, and it was still a baby or an egg or whatever. Um, but I did happen to spill my entire glass of water all over my desk when I was signing in to work this morning. So, I won't lie, I was a, uh, was a bit distracted. And why? Okay, my, the icons need to work more lively. But anyways, I was a bit distracted, to say the least. So I guess maybe that's probably why I didn't notice it. But still... That took surprisingly a long amount of time. I think that took me close to a month. That's funny, I just noticed his name is fucking Pepe. Okay, so I got lucky and got a Rex, my first kill. Let's, let's write down what I got, okay? Making sure I don't forget which color I needed. Okay, so usually I would complete the trip, but since that was my first one, I just want to see, I'm pretty sure I need a male. So, let's see here. I need the mail. Please give me the mail. Are you kidding me? <sighs> oh my god, I'm pretty sure it was the female, right? Yeah, Pavasaurus, Pavasaurus, female. Female, are you... That's just... Ugh, that's disappointing. I thought I got lucky. Um... What? Oh, is this supposed to be a piece for the thingamajiggy, the mall? Hold on, I gotta get to, uh, like, honestly, yeah, I guess it is, because I kind of thought that was just one of those bone things you get that you turn into the guy in the Dorkashan area. That has to be for the mall. Wow. Really? Am I really going to get multiple of these stupid things? But not get the male hide? All right. I mean, the male egg. Wow. Okay. Okay. I think I need the male. Is this is this the end? Oh wow. So, I didn't realize the rarity of this. I was just looking it up on the wiki. Uh, is there like something you get like lucky? Because I killed like five of these things, and I got this apparently very rare drop. Um, I was just trying to see if you can get the adrenaline crystal things from here, and yeah, I made it like two minutes, and I got that, so I guess I'm going to go bank just in case. Doubt I'll have a problem, because I would say I brought this gear for a reason, but cool. So I decided to go test out the Bissell Demons in the wilderness for 30 minutes, uh, because apparently they drop, uh, you know, these adrenaline crystals uncommonly. So I've done this for about finish up my 30 minutes here, and I just got a dragon helm. I thought I was uh, something actually good, uh, but I didn't get a single one of those drops. This supposed to be uncommon. Either that's a typo, or I'm doing something wrong. I'm gonna assume that's not so much of a typo, but more of a mistake, uh, because uncommon to me sounds like something that's like one out of like 50. I'm gonna go ahead and say I killed a lot more than 50 in 30 minutes or so. Uh, even though this is obviously crap gear, I just kind of threw it on there because I didn't feel like risking anything serious. Uh, Bloodweed seeds, I guess. I'm trying to pick this up, I guess. Might as well. Uh, I can't be asked to <laughs> eat anything. But, yeah, so I'm kind of going, okay, maybe I won't make these power burst of overkills then because these aren't really as quick as I thought they would be. Uh, I'm trying to figure something out, uh, see if I can still figure, you know, something out, but... I don't know, because clearly this isn't as viable as I thought it was. Jesus Christ, really? A third one? Come on, all I want is a goddamn male egg. That's all I need in life. Just just a male egg. Is, that, is it that hard? I got the is pet. It? What is that? <laughs> <laughs> Too busy. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, look at that. Well, Fucking two KC. But still, oh my god, two KC. I got oh my god, is it finally over? 
I swear to God, if this is a female, I'm gonna cry. Okay. Oh, oh my God. Oh my fucking God. God, how many? How many was this? Holy shit. Oh, nope. Of course, the fucking wrong one. Oh my God. Four hundred and goddamn thirty-three. Ah, uh, fifteen hundred thirty-one total kills. Holy shit. Okay, so to kind of show how many the tier two ones I got, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then I have two in the bank. So I got nine, and I think I destroyed like two of them until I said, "Screw it, I'm just gonna start putting the spares in the banks." So I got a couple backgrounds. Um, well, those are the yeah, it's the backgrounds is the tier ones I think for to catch those. Uh, and I guess when I think I have another one. Oh no, I guess I've already just dragged it over. But yeah. Oh yeah. Also, like I kind of got a lot of hunter XP. I think I started at, like 30 million. So I got pretty much like 35 million hunter XP, and like, I think like five or six million Slayer. So it was definitely quite a bit. Oh, and also I almost forgot. So to kind of show how many Maddox I got. Yeah. So 21, 22, 23, 24. I don't think I have one of my. Oh no. <laughs> I don't think I have one. Oh yeah, there you go. There's my wealth now. I remember joking about hitting 10 bill by the time I'm done with this. And actually, quite honestly, I would be right, I'm pretty sure. Because now they're only worth like 38 mil. And at the time, they're worth like 70. So I think if they didn't change in price, I actually would hit 10 bill. But yeah, almost 10 bill just from those stupid fucking things. And uh, now I still have the rune. But yeah, honestly, at first I was like, I'm not going to put the time and space on there, but... Quite honestly, with that many spare Maddox, I'm just going to do it, which is why I made the Encando. So, when I finish off 200 mil, I'll probably just put another time and space on my tool belt just to kind of finish it. Because really the only downside at that point is the Chronos, but I, I think I'll be fine on Chronos too. But, yeah, we're, we're all done, finally. So I was curious how much the Maddox are worth uh, combined all together. And almost 1.4 bill. That's lovely. Alright, talk to this bastard. Okay. Oh. Did he tell me to spot all the birds? Well, there you go. <laughs> Too bad I'm done, dude. Yeah, look, I found all 16. Thank you. Okay, perfect. Uh. Am I done? Did I miss something? Hopefully I didn't. Uh, no, I didn't. Okay. So. I'm surprised they didn't tell me that. I unlocked Salty, but okay, it's odd. Uh, completionist, should have that. Where's my, I think I got a re-log, I forgot about that stupid thing, so let's see here. Okay, oh, there you go, perfect. I re-unlocked it, or unlocked it. Oh, why is this so slow? It's never like this. Okay. Okay, there's four slots now, uh, and obviously I want the hooded. And there we go. Perfect. Now I have my, uh, beautiful trimmed comp cape back after I think what two and a half months or so so yeah it really shows how much of a pain ass trim is to upkeep <laughs> very first breed I got a shiny from these and these didn't even have any shiny traits on them all right so originally I was gonna wait until I went on break to get 120 but since I have two totems I might as well uh try turn them in because fuck it why not uh so what I'm thinking the plan is so obviously I'm gonna continue with the rest of the day it is Friday and I'm leaving and pretty much like 30, like 40 hours or so to go on my vacation for two weeks, so I'm not really going to be doing too much after. Oh, that's right. I was like, what is that? That's right, 120. Um, well, I guess I'll buy the cape real quick. But anyways, when I come back in two weeks, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to like not do archaeology for a while. I'm going to c catch up on some things here. Uh, like I definitely want to get some porters made. I definitely want to go in. Let me just buy this cape real quick. Okay, anyways, so what I think I'm going to do when I come back is, again, I'm going to probably spend the entire first week of when I'm AFK at work, because again, I only do archaeology when I'm AFK at work, uh, during work, so I think I'm going to replace that with doing divination. I do have like 5,000 empty divine charges that I just need to use up. Uh, it's unfortunate they fucking nerfed the stupid divine vacuum, even though it wasn't the best method to get divine charges, but I might as well just use them all up. Uh, and of course, I got a fucking tone right away, of course. Okay, I guess I'll just drop a porter for now. So, I might as well go ahead and... Uh, get all that stuff set up uh, just to kind of get all the charges I need, uh, porters I need to finish off one tw uh, 200 mil archaeology, which I do have like, I think I have like 60 million banked. Uh, I have, I think, I think like 94 
Tetra Compass is banked right now, let alone from all the collections all complete, which I think is a solid like 230 collections. Uh, let's just say 240 for easy math, because that'll be 60 Tetra Compasses. Uh, and then assuming 200k XP per Tetra Compass, let's just say I get round up to 100 of what I currently have bank from getting, you know, more pieces from just certain excavation. So, you know, that's probably what, I think I said 60, so that's probably, yeah, it's about another 32 million or so XP there. So they'll pretty much put me pretty damn close to 200 mil, uh, probably like 180, 185 around there. But I still do need to get that one archaeology achievement done. Uh, the researcher one, so I still have a solid like 700 hours to do on that. So they'll probably give me at least most of the XP I need to finish off 200 mil. If it doesn't, that's fine. I'll just start excavating from the Alcarid site just to kind of see if I can get some staff pieces out of that. Because uh, originally I was just doing this for the Tetra Compasses to maximize my chances of getting the Tony's Madoc, uh, just because it's on my way to 200 mil. And they're just like, why not? I didn't really feel like going for stat pieces while I'm going for 200 mil. It's just, I just did not want to do that. I'd much rather see if I can get a Tony's Maddock. And then post 200 mil, my method or my thought process would be, I'm doing this for staff. So I wouldn't mind grinding it out. Granted, this is post max stuff. But uh, yeah, that, that's kind of like my thought process. It's on my way to 200 mil, maximize the chances of Tony's Maddock. Post 200 mil, mentality is get staff. But yeah, even after finishing off my divination stuff, that I think I'm going to do is finish off 200 mil crafting, uh, or ish, because again, it's just going to be during work, pretty much. Uh, that should be a few weeks to do. I'm pretty much doing mostly urns and necklaces from that, and also AFK harps and whatnot, just the usual shit. And then I'm going to get crafting archaeology together, because they'll probably finish around the same time, but, and then in my free time, probably, you know, take me about month and a half or so, finish off 200 mil attack and HP. So, again, knock out a few 200 mils here. Yeah, that should be the plan. And I think that should all happen in August, I want to say, because yeah, I'm coming back like mid-July. So it's definitely not happening next month. But, yeah, it should be a decent plan. And, yeah, definitely will be interesting to see all this stuff play out. Which, I guess, speaking of all the artifacts I have, this is... Oh, actually, it's over here in this tab. These are all the damage artifacts that I have, so definitely, definitely quite a lot of XP banked. So, and that kind of kind of proves my point, I think, a bit there about whole 99 to 120 takes the same amount of time as 1 to 99, because it took me, I think, about a, two months to get 99 to 120, but again, I do have a shit ton of XP banked, and 1 to 99 took me about, I think, about a month, uh, but I was also doing 1 to 99 pretty much like my entire time. I wasn't really doing anything else, and obviously my way to 99120, I just did it pretty much all the way through work. Because obviously I got Big Game Hunter done, I got Retrim done, I got a whole bunch of things done along with it. Well, that's funny, I was just looking at that, I was like, do I need this shiny? I think that's the last thing I need, I was about to walk over to this guy over here. And I read the chat message, so I got all the Vranosaurs. Uh, so that's perfect, because I was kind of thinking, I was like, ah, God, which one was it I needed? Because, yeah, Vranosaurs. Ooh, that's a really cool looking dinosaur. Because I think it was the arcane that was missing. One of the things that I had the shiny first, so. But, yeah, awesome. So, I guess that kind of gives me a reason to go ahead and hunt some Jadinkos to get this done. Because I think it's just Vranosaurs and Jadinkos that go in the medium. But, yeah, I mean, I guess I'm not going to be too much in a hurry for it. Because I got plenty of shit to breed in the large pens, but. I guess it would be just be nice to have done before I leave for two weeks. So one thing I almost forgot to do is that I can turn off archaeology now from getting these daily challenges. Uh, I didn't mind it too bad because I was obviously really easy to get free XP, but now I'm going to pretty much just do herbal or dailies until I get 120, uh, which I totally forgot. That's another thing I need to prioritize when I come back because I think the uh, uh, whatever grace period ends uh, end of July, uh, July 27th. So. Yeah, I guess when I come back, that's probably what I'll be doing during non-work playtime, is trying to knock that out. I mean, obviously that's going to be pretty easy, 40 mil XP, uh, and I have plenty of uh, herb lore supplies and herbs and shit like that, so I'm not really too concerned about it. I guess, like, I did the math a few weeks ago, and I was pretty damn close to it, so I'm not worried. Uh, worst case scenario, I guess, I, I don't know, I'll figure something out. Worst case scenario, I guess I won't be comp for like a week. <laughs> I mean, I, again, I... I, I'm not concerned about it, honestly. What the hell? What is my luck with this? Like, I already got the shiny from the 
side tops. Like, wow, I was so worried about the, the shinies, but I guess, I guess it's not going to be much of a problem, is it?